On St. Patrick's Day, Ireland's Prime Minister, known in Irish as the Taoiseach, met with the US President, who reflected on what the day meant for him. Well, this has always been a special day for the Biden family and the Biden household. It's not just about heritage, but it really is about faith. But it wasn't all about festivities. High on the agenda was the Israel-Gaza war. The Irish people are deeply troubled about the catastrophe that's unfold unfolding before our eyes in Gaza. And when I travel the world, leaders often ask me why the Irish have such empathy for the Palestinian people. And the answer is simple. We see our history in their eyes. And the Taoiseach and I agree about the urgent need to increase humanitarian aid in Gaza and get the ceasefire deal. The United Front was fitting as the two countries also celebrated a milestone. 100 years of diplomatic relations between our countries. 100 years. Meanwhile, the streets of New York highlighted the historic connection between the US and Ireland in a St. Patrick's Day parade that's been running since 1762. Marking the anniversary of the death of Ireland's patron saint, the Chicago River was dyed green by the city's plumbers union in a tradition dating back to the 1960s. We're from Dublin. We came especially to see the river turn green. We don't do that in Ireland. No, no. <laughs> so we had to come. It was on our bucket list. On the other side of the Atlantic, Dublin's parade included high school bands from the US as part of a crew of more than 4,000 performers who took the streets as their stage. And in Tokyo, musicians and dancers brought a festive cheer to Omotesando, as Irish heritage was celebrated the world over. Madeleine Lobooth, ABC News.